Hi everyone, Digga here, and today I'm looking at a blind box of the Chewy Hams Pirate series by Pop Mart and Funi. Well, it's not really a blind box. I got this as an open box figure from Strange Cat Toys, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what's inside. Let's get started. Can you dig it? We got to talk about this box design. This box is adorable. I love the Pop Mart aesthetic. They have so many charming little fun characters. As soon as I saw that these chewy hams, these little hamsters had a little pirate theme going on, I had to go for a uh, very specific one, which I'll show you in a second. On the front, you'll see one of the main ones is Siren, which is a, a hamster in this, this mermaid outfit. <laughs> it's very funny. Got a little jellyfish going on here. This is a watery area. Hopefully not a watery grave. On the side here, you'll see there's eight designs and a secret one. So you saw Siren already on the front. There is a ship, which is really funny. Just a, a hamster and a pirate ship. I'm a sucker for hamster stuff. So, But there's also this sword fighter one with a monkey. And I was hoping I could find that, but I don't think that was selectable. There's a hamster in a rope that's got some kelp on it and some stars, and he's, he's a little bit sad because he's got to walk the plank. We got Hook. That's the one I got. He is just full of swagger, really cool looking. He's got the trench coat. He's got the aforementioned Hook. He's got the pirate hat. He is the captain. You don't mess with him. And then there's the, uh, the little drunken one here. He's had a little too much to drink. He's kind of tipsy. He's, uh, you know, he was asking where the rum's gone because he took care of it himself. And he's also got a chicken leg or some kind ready to chow down. Then there's this little cook one, which has a funny mustache, a uh, classic hat, a uh, really cool little outfit here, and a peg leg. Even the, um, even the little arms have like a striped blue and white theme going on because that's the undershirt. Then there's one in a barrel. He's seen better days. He's got a seagull on his head. He's got, uh, you know, the classic little barrel pop-up game. He was supposed to pop up, but it looks like he's, um, he's out for the count. He's gone. Then there's a secret one, which is actually like a full-on octopus. This dude has got his own little pirate hat going on, and he's, he might be the true buccaneer. I don't know. I'm not quite sure what his lore is, but he looks pretty neat. On the back, you have uh, standard information. I can't read most of this, except for the fact that there's Foonie up here. Chewy hams, PVC figures, the usual stuff. Then on the side, there's actually more English. This is that stuff, but translated. What a surprise. Talks about the distribution, all that usual stuff, warnings, don't do this, don't do that, whatever. But there's this really cute little Foony sticker here that's got uh, that sort of holofoil thing. There's a proper term for it, like a holofoil sticker, I don't know. Bottom is boring, but the top has this really cool hamster Jolly Roger here. So, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's Hook's Jolly Roger right there. I had to get that dude ASAP. Enough talking, let's open it up. Yar, we got our character card here. This be the dreaded hook. This is really cute. On the back, you have his Jolly Roger, standard stuff. But I really enjoy that these have, you know, actual cards. And they're pretty, uh, pretty nicely made, too. So you can just have a full collection. Because when I get really obscure, unique art toys, I'll, I'll keep the little uh, cards that they come with or the backings, uh, the special stuff, comics. So it's nice to have, like, a little binder full of these cards, too. Here's the inside bag, already opened up for easy access. Let's pull out Hook. Ooh, look at this smug little dude. Yar, I heard you be talking smack about me. Walk the plank on the double. Here he is, the scourge of the sea, Hook himself. I really, really like the aesthetic of this figure. I say that a lot, but... He's just got some premium style here. You know, he's got like the whole purple piratey gear going on. He's got his hook, which I found out actually has articulation. So you can kind of move it a little bit. I think it's just, it's more like gummy so you can move it however you want. I don't think you can take it out. Oh, okay. Well, that's straight on a peg. All right, <laughs> let's just keep that in there. So if you want to have battle damage, I guess, you know, ar, you bested me crocodile. You can articulate the hook wherever you want. Does his head move? Nope, that is a solid chunk of plastic. I'm assuming the hat doesn't come off. Nope. I'm not even forcefully trying to grab it. I take care of my toys. But it kind of feels like the foot can maybe move. No, it's fine. Anyway, 
Let's just take a little bit of a closer look at all of his adornments here. Starting from the top, he's got that hamster insignia. His little ears are popping out from the top, which is this big purple pirate hat with a yellow brim. Really stylish. That face, that smug face. You don't want to mess with this guy. He is coming at you. There is no way you're getting away from Captain Hook. Sorry, the hook is too fun to move around. He's got these big uh, gumball blushy marks, which is really cool. I like the way his um, his face does this little white wavy effect. Almost looks like uh, the ocean, really. Interesting. You'll see he's got a really nice uh, white undercoat here with a some sort of sash. Not quite a buckle. Maybe it is a buckle, but it's a diagonal one. He's got a really nice purple coat with the yellow coloring as well. All these nicely done buttons. Goes around the entirety of the figure. And his little sleeves. He's got a normal gloved hand here. Or maybe it's just his normal hand. I don't know. And then he's got his little booties, of course. Speaking of booties. <laughs> Sorry. I had to do it. He's got his little tail down here. The rest of it is uh, relatively plain on the back. You know, I'm not really expecting like a, a big like a baronet or a bayonet, rather. I don't really know what else you would put back here. Maybe he'd have like a treasure map in his pocket or something. Um, really neat little details all around. Down below is the Pop Mart Chewy Ham logo. And that is basically the entirety of Hook. I don't really have too many non-One Piece pirate figures or rideable ships. So here he is with the mega world collectible figure Luffy and Thousand Sunny. Yar, this be a fine vessel to commandeer. Pirate King, as if. And here he is making a show of it of Gokai Red. Check out those big explosions in the background. You know some crazy heist just happened. Though I don't really know what it says about Captain Marvelous's character that he team up with Hook over here. There's something sinister going on. Maybe he's uh, after the treasure in some sort of uh, double, triple cross situation. I believe in Captain Marvelous. And here be the origin story to how Hook lost his hand. How could you stay mad at a cute little shark like that? You gotta get your hook and move on of your life. And that was Hook from the Pop Mart Chewy Ham's Pirate series. I really think he's got a really cool look going on there. It's not often you see a pirate dressed in royal purple. This is one of my first forays into Pop Mart figures. And I gotta say, I'm super impressed. I really like the way he came out. I love that smug little face. He's so hilarious. Just the way that his little demeanor of confidence is brimming as he pirates someone else's ship, literally takes it from him. He doesn't care. He's just going to keep trudging onward to victory. Better watch out for that shark, though. He's going to get you again. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.